Alright you guys, today we are checking out Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. It's almost a vampire survivor type game set in the Deep Rock Galactic universe, I guess you could put it. Yeah, it's it's a little weird. I've I've played one round, then I turn around and reset everything. So we're basically starting with a brand new account. Um, so yeah, we got to earn five of whatever these are to unlock the next biome. It's gonna be hazard one for me. And we're starting off with the scout. Scout's always fun. I like it. It's actually my primary character in Deep Rock Galactic itself. So there's some upgrades here that we don't have access to. So we're just going to go with the classic. So, return in time for sandwiches and beers. You can do this alone. All right. So we got to find a dreadnought, which is fine. And you just walk into these and you automatically mine. You mine, you get experience, the bar fills up just like Vampire Survivors, and then you get an upgrade. Uh reload speed is going to be our best friend starting off. Okay, apparently I can't pick that up. Come on. So these little blue orbs are the experience. Pick up enough of them, you level up, you get another upgrade. You just basically have to avoid getting hit by these guys, which it's it's not hard. Um, kind of think we go with the epic upgrade. For now. So we took a little bit of a hit there. It's not a big deal. Okay, now we just gotta find the landing zone. Uh, pickup radius would be nice. Let's see if we can figure out where this, uh, landing zone is. I'll mine all that up, get the XP. We got loot bugs in this, which I was pretty excited to see. Kind of the same voice lines as the actual game itself. All right, there's our landing module. So, and here's the swarm too. So we need to mine out all of this. Oh, we might've messed up. Nope, we're good. So we need something that's going to do a little bit more damage. The Bosco, our little robot's not exactly the best. Come on. And the reload is super slow. See so if we can draw him over here and then kind of run around the backside. It's a lot of XP. Um, let's go ahead and get the new weapon. It just shoots out in the cardinal directions that's actually kind of nice if you can angle it just right didn't do a whole lot of damage and these purple guys are kind of tough the green guys are even tougher there we go it's gonna be another level up uh let's do more damage firing rate would be nice but firing rate limited by our reload speed so there's that now oh, and we got to kill that thing all right let's get another level up real quick because I guarantee you we can get at least two probably three um and do we go more damage or reload speed I kind of think we go reload speed Cause right now reload speed's kind of killing us. There's another level up. Uh, we'll go reload speed again, and we'll go um, 15 damage, 25% reload speed. We should level up again. There we go. Oh, critical damage or max HP. 
kind of feel like we go max HP. Yeah. Oh, we'll go max HP. That's fine. Okay. Now our resupply should be coming in. Let's go ahead and mine this while we can. Oh, this isn't good. It's another level up. Um... More damage, please. Okay, now we just gotta get to the exit, just like in... Oh... Yeah, we're going more damage. If we can start one-shotting these guys, that would be huge. Just gotta get to the drop pod, just like in the normal game, and we're good to go. Cut it a little close there, but... We made it. Level 11. And then we get to pick... An upgrade. Now, upgrades cost the red stuff. Or the yellow stuff, but... I kind of think we might do this just as like a passive upgrade. Now this is a rare treat. All right. Get to work. There's aliens to be killed and gold to be mined. Pick up some resources. Look at this place. Now this is only my second run of the game. But honestly, I kind of like it because it's simple. Like... It's the normal game, just a little bit more simplified. And it's... More of a passive roguelike type game. I don't know what luck does. I mean, obviously it tells you you roll higher rarities, but we've been rolling pretty good so far. Okay, so we gotta get out of this tiny little spot right here. Oh, this isn't good. Resupply prepared. Clear the landing zone of obstacles. Okay, where's landing zone over here? Kinda need to take out that swarm a little bit. Come on, reload. There we go. Stood a little close to that one. Probably gonna die on this level, but that's okay. Um, movement speed? Sounds pretty good. Can we mine this? There we go. We got a resupply. Um... Hmm. I think we might go... XP when we take damage? Or... I think we go with this. Another swarm? I haven't even cleared the first one. Oh, we're definitely going the wrong way. Yep, that's gonna be damage. Like I said, I don't think we're getting out of this level. Alive, anyways. Yeah, I walked into that one. That's my bad. Um, go reload speed. We get all the XP. Uh, cryo grenade could be handy, or you know what? We'll go with the shotgun. I think I went with the cryo grenade in my first one. I kind of want to try out the shotgun for this. Guys, oh, there it is. 
That was a lot of bugs. I don't think we were getting out of there alive to begin with. Alright. So we almost leveled up. Almost. Not quite. We continue, and then we can do upgrades, which is kind of cool. It adds to, like, the roguelite type, I don't know, I guess, function. So we could just permanently increase our damage by 4%, but we don't have enough credits. We do have enough ore, but not enough credits. I don't think we've got enough credits for anything. So, essentially what we do is go back in and play it again. But, since this is just kind of a first look type video, let me know what you guys think. I've, I've read a lot of reviews that says, you know, once you get into the end game, the RNG kind of screws you over. Eh, I mean, that's fine. It, it's not one of those games, or at least I don't believe it's one of those games that's intended to be like a speed run. Hence the roguelike elements where you get permanent upgrades that follow you everywhere. But I could be wrong. I mean, maybe there are some people that would like to speed run it and just can't because the end game RNG type stuff. But for what it is, I mean, I. I think it was like six dollars on steam i'm, I'm not going to complain i like them the developers are good they're always adding new content so if they keep adding biomes or challenges or whatever the case is i think this could be one of those games that goes a little bit longer than normal like for this genre anyways but if you've got 30 minutes to spare you're just trying to kill time a good game it's entertaining at this point and i'm i'm sure the rounds will last probably longer in 10 minutes the further into the game you get but for now that that's kind of my take on it let me know what you guys think down in the comments as always i'll go ahead and link the steam store page down in the description below the video if you guys liked it go ahead and leave a like subscribe if you guys haven't yet and i will catch you guys in the next video